Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect where we continue to build our big mega city. Now, last couple of episodes I enabled gangs, which is the worst thing to do in the whole entire world right now. And then I spent last episode trying to clear all the dead bodies and try and find some organization and some order. Well, we've pretty much got back to that point and we're pretty much good to go and continue to where we last left off. Granted, I've only got 10 actual prisoners in the prison right now. And when it actually comes to the intelligence for the gangs, uh, three of them are actual gang members. Now, my issue was these, I was accepting all different types of levels of prisoners, from supermax to legendary to max. And I didn't quite have the capabilities to upkeep and handle all of those prisoners. But now, the Great Wall is almost complete. It's almost there right now. I bought some more land as well, so we got more kind of a leeway for them to run if they do dig tunnels and kind of hopefully catch them. You never know. Uh, but we're almost done. All I have to do is kind of this bit going around and up. But even that still, they're kind of locked off with the big perimeter wall we got on the inside. So what I place over here is probably going to be like protective custody or something like that. We'll see how it pretty much goes. But I want to show you what I've kind of been doing. The entrance point right now is set up with this four-way interchange of beautiful little gates. We have a, a, a guard kind of patrolling which will unlock the gates when needed. And uh, that will kind of handle us pretty nicely. I've got to set up kind of a uh, jail doors and a bunch of these. We've got snipers all the way around the perimeter. I don't have, I haven't hired enough snipers just yet, but we'll kind of get onto it. But I'm pretty much ready to get back to rocking and rolling. <laughs> he says... He actually says right now. So hopefully we can get things back up and running back to where we kind of last left off. So before we start accepting prisoners then, we need to, to we need to take a look at a little bit of the grants. Now, a lot of it is reforming or revolving around uh, gang members because what we pretty much got left over. But I want to get a few stuff in to kind of make some money. Carpentry, reinforce education, cell block B, uh, B increase, uh, increase our prison capacity to 50, which we have pretty much done. Cell block C, boom, we've done. Cell block D, not quite there. Not quite there. But we're going to be getting there very, very shortly, but at least we got the monies to, to rock and roll. So what I'm going to do then, this is, what I'm, this is how I'm going to do it. We are going to accept, obviously... Um, all the prisoners back in but we'll only do for the foreseeable future <laughs> we'll do uh, just to kind of keep us going uh, let's say we'll take 30 a day and then slowly build it up that way so I don't accept them all at once and kind of be overloaded I got 150 guards we're going to get another arm guard so we've got 11 we got 12 dog handlers, which I'm going to bring that up to 20. We got 60 snipers. We got, well, we're now going to have a lawyer, first and foremost. Let's go. Let's go. We probably need a lot more janitors and gardeners and stuff like that. But for the janitor side, as it's not hard to get prisoners back in, they will then go back to their cleaning jobs. Because I do need prisoners. I need prisoners to do some of the work that I don't need to hire people to be able to do to do if that makes sense the prison is very very filthy right now so that will be interesting oh with that amount of prisoners too i do need to extend our laundromat so our laundry business is now going to get a nice little extension expansion we're going to get a couple more ironing boards in which will help us out and then we'll pump down a load more laundry baskets that prisoners can use to get around the prison with so hopefully we can well, I hope, well, yes, definitely, we'll get a lot more done. We need to get the pipe work all in as well to kind of get that up and running. And our workmen should be over and on the way. So all the goods are now being delivered. We can continue to rock and roll. It's going to be very exciting. We got 18 hours. I know I can change the intake time, but I'm giving this little bit of a brief moment right now to kind of get on top of a little bit of work I still need to get done. Now we've done the perimeter wall. It all looks fantastic. I've got to add doors to all of these. And we also need to implement uh, the power line to, to basically come into these rooms. Now, I think I'm going to turn each of these rooms into a security room, which will also always have a prisoner stationed in it. I can also add some CCTV and hook up more CCTV around the prison because we'll have more monitors available. And some of them don't quite line up to the roads, but I'm not too bothered about that because I've kind of figured out a nice little system 
to how I could potentially get something like this underway. And I'll just show you in just a moment. But this is going to be our little bit of a blueprint to how we're going to do it. If I just get all the power in for now. And then we'll build one. And then we'll just kind of clone it to everywhere else. Oh, there's little things like this. Like, we haven't quite got the, uh, the wooden floor done in the church. Stuff like that is kind of annoying. That I haven't got it done. I got more prison guard towers around the prison inside as well. So I really maximized the uh, the security levels in the prison right now. Get some more wooden floor in there. Now something else I need to do as, as well as eventually is build like a little prison inside of the prison. Because obviously we're building a, uh, a city. We have the police station, the church, the restaurants, we have the gyms, we have the factories, we have the houses. Uh, I need... I got that police station with a, with a kind of like... A, cells inside of the station which is pretty much over here i need to build a prison within the prison that would be kind of hilarious wouldn't it but uh we'll get into that in just a moment anyway this is what i'm doing for the entry points by the way we have the path around it and then a road that will go either left or right of it and that will eventually connect up to somewhere rather than having like a ring road going around because it's not always going to work in every location so that's pretty much how we'll have it so while they do all this then i'm going to utilize this one as being the the test dummy to how I set all the rest of them up. So if I choose it to be our security room, which is... I'm trying to find security. There it is. And zone it. Is that big enough? It needs to be a 4x4, four four, which it is. It needs to be behind doors, which is actually going to be behind two jail doors. So we'll go large red. That is another level of security that... that prisoners will have to break through to get into this kind of area uh, in terms of objects then we need a desk an office chair and a filing cabinet that's kind of what we need but we can also place in all the monitor stuff as well so if i put the the desk here let's put it let, let's centralize it we'll do a nice little uh what does it need and uh, we could go for an office chair like this style that's fancy a uh, little uh, filing cabinet, but most importantly, the CCTV monitoring station. Phone tap as well. That could be good. I might save that for our actual proper security area room. I'll get a nice little plant inside. And yeah, that will be good for me. That would be good for me. We'll kind of go for that for now and then we'll clone the rest. So I've definitely got room up here to add in some more CCTV and some more phone tap in. That would be good to get some more information on the prisoners. We have seven hours remaining before we take our next inload of 30 minimum security prisoners. And um, we're just going to wait right now. We're just going to play the waiting game, boys. Before we get all this done. So a little build up. So how it works is and we're always going to have someone stationed at the security um, CCTV monitor anyway. But uh, we'll also get someone housed in there at all times. So, if anyone wants to try and break through, there's potentially going to be two security guards in each, each little area. And then if they do manage to get through here, they can either run down, got to get through this fence, and then another fence. So, if they manage to get through this door, they've got to run down here through another door, more security. So, there's lots of things that they have to break through to kind of escape. So, that is... That's going to be very, very interesting to see how that kind of turns out. Now, again... Just simply waiting right now. There's a guard coming in. I can build a lot of stuff. Here comes the chair. And if I go to my deployment, I can then assign a guard to the room itself. Now, we want to make sure that it's literally staff only. Staff only. Nothing else is going down in these rooms. Staff only. Staff only to all of them, which means the visitors will also have to go for the main entrance, which is exactly what I want them to do. Staff only on all these little entry points. Very good, very good, very good. So, we're all set up there. We need power to this. Which I didn't quite think about that. But apart from that, I can much pretty much clone these. So, clone you. And if I then run along. And then place these in every single one. Obviously, I've got to rotate going up sideways. So a lot to get done. Actually, if I quickly pause right now, because we're going to have our intake of prisoners very soon as well, and I want to kind of see that kind of unfold. 
because that will be interesting. So the more CCTV monitors we got, the better. These are like little security checkpoints that we're implementing in. So spend the money for that. Let you do what he's got to do. And in a couple of minutes, we will see this all unfold. So we're now waiting for our guard. Here they come. They open up the gate. They're on their little patrol that we do have set up. Through they go, all the stuff. Here come the prisoners. Now, are any of them gang members? I don't assume that they're going to be. Uh, gang members? No. None of them are gang members, but they can be recruited. So that's something else you got to remember. They can be recruited. So in they come then. Oh, some of them arrive. Oh, I, I forgot about that. Some of them arrive by a uh, helicopter. Oh, wait. Some of them were gang members. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Some of them were gang members. But they're minimum security, so they shouldn't be too mental. <laughs> he says, he says. Worst case scenario, I'll have to get rid of the gangs if they do overthrow my prison a little bit too much. But danger levels are increasing. Wow. So now that we got them in, let's take a look at the regime. I think it's time that we sort this regime back out again. And we'll kind of give them all the same regime to begin with until I don't trust them anymore basically so they wake up we'll put them in lockdown we'll give them a, an, a, an hour showering window then a two hour eating window i'll give them two hours of free time and then we'll make them work work before a two hour eating window uh we'll give them a two hour yard window and then we'll lock them down no we'll give them a bit of free time and then we'll lock them down t so they can wind down. So they, they don't get much sleep, but they could sleep in the day if they wanted to. But if I try and keep them always with a little bit low drained energy, then maybe we can kind of control them a little bit better. Who knows? Who actually knows at this point? So things are ticking along quite nicely right now. We're getting all of this stuff added in for the security rooms. If I could really run through all this and get the power added into them. Because that is obviously something that I'm kind of missing from each of these rooms. Run it back up. There we go. Oh, another one just here. That's got power. That's got power. That's got power. Okay, we're all good. And if I quickly do the deployment then, so assign a guard in each one. Now, by default, we should get a guard in there who sits at the CCTV monitor anyway. But having some guards in gives us that additional line of defense when it comes to people trying to escape. Ha ha, there we go. There we go. So lots of prisoners have now been escorted to their cells. So it will still take a while before everything's in the swing of things. But um, doing it this way is a little bit better because we can kind of control the intake and not get too overwhelmed too quick. So, prisoners now in. It's currently work slash free time, so some bits and bobs will get done. Uh, logistics, prison labor. Who's doing what job right now? So, a lot of them are doing the laundry job, which is understandable. Uh, because they're new prisoners as well, a lot of them have to pass programs to be able to do a lot of uh, the other types of jobs that we have within the prison. But um, for the first time in a long time, the danger levels are very, very low. <laughs> <laughs> wow that's pretty amazing isn't it it is pretty amazing so while we're waiting for the rest of the work staff to kind of get everything else done which only a few more bits and bobs to get done we can then start planning out our next move so some of the rooms that we do not have just yet oh oh incoming call from the guard uh chief i mean band together some interest okay fine uh so rooms that we don't have right now we, we almost have a little bit of everything we don't have a pantry, we don't have the cage, the tattoo removal, or the fight club. We don't have a meeting room or a flower garden. We don't have any of this stuff just yet. Uh, we do need to build more cells. That's what we're going to kind of plan. But I feel like this forestry now needs to be moved to its final home. And its final home, I kind of want up here. Quite a large little, bit, little space, but I think it will be very, very beneficial. Now, if I replicated these houses here and flipped them over to this side because we're going to do the same on this side as well so we can double up the mansion space 
Um, wherever it ends there, I'm going to build a forestry that kind of goes around the corner of it. That would be, be like a really, really nice way to kind of finish things off. But then at the same time, though, I'm kind of then closing off the quick run coming down unless I build something shortcut route there, which could also kind of work. Uh, so let's try and figure this one out then. So quick build, clone. I'm going to create some brand new mansions. Bam. So first things first, we flip these around and place them there. And then we place the next set just here. You ready? Kaboom. So that'll take our workers a lot of time right now to get things done. But it kind of shows us then how much space we then have remaining. So in terms of flooring then, if I do the concrete tiles, because we will now have a row of concrete tiles here. Then one, two, three, four, five. And then this one here is our next row. Obviously, I don't know how it's all going to be set up. But if I then set some of the road up here. And then I kind of want to build my forestry area around here, which will be really, really good, really, really handy. So, hmm. I might do a run coming down to here to get to the export area down there. Uh, I might make the road stick a little bit further out. Where can I go with this? Let me see. So paving tiles, obviously, we're going to bring them in. I might have to destroy that little bit of a wall. If I ended it there and had a two walkway coming up to a little door section, that could end quite nice. If I then grasped these areas off, so we don't notice too much going on. And that'll be a nice little shortcut to get to this vicinity. So, the concrete tiles doubling up. I can make these walk around the vicinity of the actual forestry area, to be honest with you. That could run into there, which could pretty much just end like that. And then I do want to bring the road a bit further in. So what if I just ended the road here? Like on this side. And then I can have two forestry areas, couldn't I? That could also work out fairly well. So like I said, giving the workers a lot of things to do right now. That will take some time. That will take a lot of time, to be honest with you. So we're kind of ease back a little bit see so there we go we now got two uh, guards in each of these rooms which is handy which obviously it does make a lot more of them occupied but security levels are always going to be there my uh my delivery bay right now is being overloaded <laughs> and i think what i'm going to do as well i'm going to also demolish these two blocks of wall because i might be able to walk utilize that little walk through space a little bit easier as well uh right okay so Without further ado, that's so much stuff I've now got done. That is so much stuff I've now got done. We're going to be expecting another 30 prisoners in the next three hours. So it'll be quite exciting to get those guys all in. Um, in terms of intelligence right now and gangs, we've gained a few more gang members. So 100% they are now recruiting. And they've taken the nicer cells. So they've chosen the nicer cells because obviously the gang members want a bit of a uh, luxury in their prison. They want their stay to be better than anybody else's stay right now. So of course they're going to take the good, uh, good. Oh, and we've got we've got leaders as well. <laughs> this is kind of exciting. We actually have elected leaders. So very interesting again. It's going to go down. It is going to go down. It's currently lock up right now. It's now shower time. So they'll take a shower if they need it. Some of them take a shower in lockdown and in the lockup time anyway, but the lockup time just gives them a little bit of time to kind of decompress, basically. Just give them a little bit of a time to dig. You know, I realize I haven't added any floor into any of that normal houses. I've just realized that. So if that little walkthrough right now, kind of easy access to get up to this area. Oh, I just realized my fence slash wall is kind of a bit funky over on this side. 
Hmm. I'm have to mess around with that shortly. But yeah, it's all going down. If I get the uh, concrete floor and it's just there, I'm going to build the grass coming down here. Just kind of that would have been a fence going up because I think it's because I've connected to that to keep the two space. It's uh, a bit awkward to get two uh, two fences going up. Right, more prisoners now in. So gangs. Oh, we now have a red gang uh, member. Can I spot him? I'm just wondering if I can spot him right now. It is free time. I'm trying to think where they would have been taken to. So he hasn't got his own cell, by the looks of it. Not that I can see. I just want to know if he... Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's not a leader. He's not a leader, he's just a normal member. Very interesting, sirs. Very interesting. And are we still doing all the flooring? Yeah, we're still doing all the flooring. How many workmen do I have now? I've got 35. So let's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I always find the more you hire, the slower the work gets done. But uh, we'll try and keep our eye on it right now. Oh, I think they're all hidden under all this planning stuff over here, aren't they? Yeah, that's pretty much what's going down. So another 30 prisoners arriving in the next day, but I feel like we're doing pretty good right now. So it's work time. So if I go to the prison labor, they are now... So we're now we're getting cleaners, which is good to see. So the prison will be a little bit more squeaky clean as time goes on. Uh, laundry is always filled up. Uh, the restaurante... Oh no, the bakery, sorry. They've got the workers in there. We've got workers in the store right now, so prisoners can actually buy some goods. Uh... None yet in the actual restaurant itself. We've got no danger levels. Uh, none in the actual workshop. They've got to do programs for all that. Oh, which I might need to reschedule all my programs now. So reschedule the programs. So we should then have nothing too bad, which we don't. Faith program. Uh, yeah, let's get that done. The faith program on the way. Uh, unscheduled. Why? Uh, it's a three hour long session. I think it's more down to the regime, right? Well, if I gave them uh, an extra free time space? Would that work with the program? Where is it? Right, actually, let me go. I'm going to... I'll just reschedule it myself. Regime. Work slash free time. Uh, programs. Edit schedule. So I'm struggling to get in by the sounds of it. The... Spiritual guidance. Is that the one we're talking about? We had the faith program. Um... Oh, it's gangs only. Interesting. What was it? The carpentry. Let me stop that second one. So we don't even see the faith. This this whole viewing this system right now is so awkward. It might appear at some time. Maybe we've got more gang members. I don't know. I, I truly don't know on that one. But I'm not too stressed right now. I'm not too stressed. So, okay. So, like I said, 30 more prisons coming in the next 13 hours. The prison's pretty low. So I feel like I could accept a few more. So I'm going to up this to 50 now. 50 prisoners arriving in... Let's reduce this. Are they just coming? Alright, in the next one hour. So we've accepted them a little bit earlier than normal. And we see if we can get them in. Now, of course, when these little mansions are built, that's going to increase the prison capacity. 
So we definitely get over the 200 mark, so we complete that grant. But it's a case of how long it's going to take, because I've got them doing so much work right now. That in itself will take some time. Right, 50 prisoners now arriving. Some do arrive by helicopter. Uh, but it's currently at yard time, and the rest of the prisoners will be going to lock up and then to sleep. So it's actually quite a perfect time to get prisoners in. Maybe we should get more prisoners coming in at night time. It seems like more like a reasonable time of day. So I've got a bit of free time right now. Let's see how many are actual gang members. So intelligence, gangs. We uh, <laughs> we're definitely getting more gang members. The red dude is not a leader. Still. So I don't know how long until they do turn to leave. There's the, there's the red dude. Where did he come from? Because technically they shouldn't be allowed out here. They would have been getting some contraband from over that wall, wouldn't they? Uh, if I see stolen from... No, not yet. Produce narcotics still pretty bad. They shouldn't be able to go over here. So, um... Deployment... Uh, gang segregation. I didn't realize you could do something like that. That's interesting. So, right, this is what I need to try and figure out right now. So, I don't want anybody within going around these vicinity areas. So, I want it to be. Um, Access only. People who try to avoid access only zones as possible. Phone take. So re in reality, I want it staff only, right? All of that outside area, staff only. So really, no, no uh, prisoner should set foot in that pinky purpley zone right now, should they? That's how it should go down. They can go into this area, but this is where the bus drops them all off. So I'm hoping that will then kind of give us a little bit more level of control. And if we dealt with all those prisoners right now, I believe we have. So we'll see what happens with all of them. Uh, we're still building all this anyway, this area, by the way. Oh, why am I doing a separate flooring? The road should continue. Fools. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, okay, okay. So like I said, it'll be a while before we finish building these mansions. There's just, there's just so much to them. There is just so much to them right now. It just, it's just going to take forever. Well, it's going to feel like it takes forever. Um, right. We can have 64 more prisoners. Yep. Oh, so we've had some more contraband in the last few hours. Or last seven days. We're not equipped to handle the fire. The output of the power station is at... Which one is that? It's got to be this one, right? Yeah. It's got to be that one. Um, right, okay. So. So, so, so. We've now another 50 prisoners. When it comes to the workload, we'll have a lot more employees, basically. So hopefully we can fill the cleaning cupboards up a bit more and we can get some more of these areas cleaned. So it's still currently asleep at the moment. Still currently sleep. It will be luck up and then shower time very shortly. So will it be this hour where it's then lock up? Here we go. Boom. So some of them use the toilet. A couple of them will then eventually start using the shower. So he really wants to have a shower. Which shower time will happen very soon. He could have a shower now, but it's, cl it's technically classed as a separate room. So he wouldn't be able to go to it. Um, and boom, shower time. There we go, taking it in turns, basically. And then before you know it, boys, it's time to eat. Canteen is over here for these guys. 
So food's all there right now, ready to rock and roll. It's now eat time. In they arrive, grabbing the food. Delicious treats, delicious snacks. Contraband being found because, of course, they've got to go through a metal detector. And I'm not going to say that we're going to fill everybody up, but it is a two-hour eat session, right? So at least everybody gets a chance to have some food and just kind of chill out for just a second. 85% of uh, prisoners have been fed. Obviously, some of them are, are in, like, solitary and whatnot. So, is what it is. Oh, look, this side's definitely coming along a, be a lot better than this side by the looks of it. Uh, right, so... It's now free time, so you get to chill out for just a minute or two. Before the work day does start. So the prisoners needs them. Look how low they are. Yo, look how low they are right now. This is good. This is real good stuff. Some of them are obviously choosing to have showers. To bring down that hygiene rating again. A lot of them are exercising. But then the work day is about to start, boys. And programs too. They'll be doing a lot of programs soon as well. We have a dude here who's currently stuck. Can you get this person? Oh, we have a deaf today? Oh dear god, a gang member has managed to take control of a freaking shotgun. Uh-oh. Gangs are marking t their territory. Are oh, they actually marking their territory right now? Um, right, intelligence. Gangs. So the oh, it was the green gang leader that was going mental. So apart from their cells, oh, they have they've managed to take over this um this common room in one of these mansions, and that's the purple gang boys. So anybody that uses it right now has to pay the purple gang. So I can try and clean it up, but it does provide toughness for that particular gang in that area. Ooh. Now, they are all minimum security, so... If it goes mental again, I'm going to have to turn gangs off, but I just want to see what happens. Oh, they're plotting. They're plotting right now. Where are they going to now, boys? The next common room? This purple gang wants it. Is, the, is it the purple gang that go for territory over everything else? Yes, prison control. They're all about territory. Now, as soon as all of them are using... Oh, they're not, um... Prisoners. Now, will they go for... Oh, are they going to have another meeting? They're having another meeting, boys. Wait, where are they going to go for now? Oh, they're running. Into this one, they want control of all of the common rooms at this point. This is how they get rich. No, no gang yet is earning any money. So will they go and have another meeting? Is it time for another meeting? It looks like it to me. He sent the word, boys. Off they run. Off they run. To claim another common room. And they'll claim this one as their own again. Boom. Any other gang took over any other territory just yet? Or is it just a purple gang? It is just the purple gang at the moment. Right. And have they got the, the, the energy in them to take on another one? Yeah, they definitely have because they're all moving back down again. Okay, they're meeting in their own gang territory right now just to be doing some chilling. Like a strawberry villain. So I wonder if... Is that the leader there? He's got the little star on him and above his head. Or is that the enforcer who sends the message from the actual leader himself? They're going for another one. <laughs> They're going to have all the common rooms at this point, aren't they? They really are. So they'll take this one on. That's now theirs. And now it's eat time. So everybody can go and get some food. Now normally... If I go to gangs, when they uh, take a table, the table turns like to their gang colour. So nobody else can eat on that table. 
But I think there's just too much variety in that they all eat in different places. Uh, that they don't have the chance to do it. It's 14 members for the purple gang now. There we go. Purple table. Got the purple outline. It's kind of cool how, how it does that, isn't it? It really is. Um, right, okay. So let's just forget about the gangs just a minute then. How is all the building work doing? Well, we're getting so close by the looks of it. There's still a few little bits and bobs that do need to be, be built in. It's just the, like the little finishing touches now, isn't it? Now, it won't complete one. It will complete the three in one. So it's like the little bit of floor around here, but I think they're focusing on over here at the moment. So, if I remember correctly, there's eight in each mansion. So, eight, 16, 24, 48. Is that correct? Did I do my math right there? 48 potential uh, more peeps. I think we just have a, uh, an influx of more prisoners, right? Yeah. <laughs> 50 more prisoners now arriving. We're almost at full capacity. We are almost at full capacity. So more prisoners coming in. Intelligence gangs. And we finally have another red gang member. As well as having 17 purple members. Right, they're planning again, boys. They're more likely going to take over this one, this room over here. I don't think they're going to have enough time because it's going to change in the regime now. It's a lock up, so. Yo, there's so many purple gang members right now. It's a bit mental. It is a bit mental. So we need to plan then some CCTV. That is my next move. Say, say, TV, boys. Insufficient funds. Yo, where did all my money go? Did it truly disappear? That quick? Guard wages is my big one. Is it guard wages my big one? Give me a little bit of a pay cut. <laughs> I need some more exports going out, don't I? Which is, I mean, understandable. But I am now got more prisoners in. So hopefully they'll start producing more goods and we can then start selling stuff. Holy moly, I didn't realise. I did not realise. So exports come in. And as soon as the money comes in, we are oh, we still buying stuff for these mansions. I mean, that's another thing as well. The cost of those mansions to be built. A little bit too crazy, if you ask me. So. So, so, so. Maybe we take a look at the regime and add an extra workday hour onto it. So if I put the eat here. Work there. So they work a little bit longer in the day. So I've added an extra two hours of work time in the day. So for those people who are creating exports for us, we have two hours every day additional. Which will be super handy. Now that will create, obviously, a two additional hours of exports. I am making steps forward, because obviously I'm moving the forestry up and over here. So I am making plans to kind of uh, progress forward. Alright, oh, they're still placing stuff in these rooms, so we've still got a while yet. Still got a very long time. The deliveries are overspelling over here at the minute. <laughs> Another thing as well, if it is the guard wages that are killing me the most, then obviously if the prison is doesn't need that many guards, if we're able to handle it with the, uh, the danger levels being a little bit lower, then I might consider getting rid of some. So yeah. All right. -y. Can't leave the purple gang though. They've got every common room in the uh, mansions apart from this one here. It's hilarious. Right, stuff's slowly being spent. I got 50 prisoners arriving. We should bring these 50 prisoners in, in now so I can kind of uh, get more money. I'm taking this the wrong way, aren't I? There we go. Two hours 30. The next set of prisoners are going to be on their way. Oh, 
Oh, I should fill fill to capacity. There we go. So forty one prisoners because I'm now filling to capacity. Um, okay, seventeen grand just came in because we obviously completed that grant. So now I can get the CCTV monitors in, right? CCTV. So we'll start with places down here. It's just really good to have these in. There we go. One there. One there. We don't really have any in here. We'll add in three in there. We ain't got one in the gym. But I'll add two in there. I'll add one in the church. One in here. The restaurant. And one in the store. So, it will be handy to a certain degree. Oh, snap. Is it the, the green gang? Yeah, they're now meeting for a takeover, aren't they? Where are they planning to go to? They're running somewhere. They're running somewhere for a takeover. Oh, that final common room right now. Oh, the purple gang are actually generating revenue as well, by the way. With people using their uh, territories. There we go. <gasps> and the purple gang are planning something as well. If they go and retaliate and take over right now, we can have a little bit of a gang warfare. No, they're going somewhere else. Oh, they managed to take over the whole freaking bakery. It's their business now, boys. It's the gym. They're taking on the gym. Which, I don't know if it's still the same as previously before. If they take it over, I then can't... He's recruiting, by the way. I then can't build the, my CCTV cameras because it's now technically gang territory. Unbelievable. We just we just seen him recruit somebody. He, he made him sign a contract. That's crazy how that's even possible. Another... Oh, I said another gang meeting, but it's not. It's uh, a little classroom on the go. Right, are these, are these even done yet? What's going on? What is going on? What are we missing out on at this point? We've got a lot of uh, trucks coming in, dropping the goods off still. I'll open... Oh, I was going to say I was going to lock that open, but open. Exports going out soon. We've got a lot of exports ready to be loaded up too. And they're slowly coming in, hot and heavy. Oh, we've had a death today? Oh, no. It happened, guys. I knew it was going to happen. The green gang and the purple gang came together. But we dealt with it, though. I mean, it's been two deaths. I say we dealt with it. The gang members dealt with it. There's a couple of them injured right now. We need the doctors getting over here. Boom. Found. <laughs> right, how do I get rid of this? There we go. Uh, right, so we're about to make you money now because um, we had 17,000 when I got 8. Oh, it's right underway. That's definitely gang related. Where's the riot taking place? Is it over here in this room? Ooh. The arm guard, he blasted everybody. I don't think he should have. <laughs> Shouldn't he have, like, the rubber bu bullets? But that got dealt with pretty quick. Oh, dear God. See, I like the fact that we can handle it. That's the difference with minimum security. We can kind of handle it. But, yeah. Uh, oh, right. This has now been built. So, utility-wise. It's going to pause for a quick sec. Uh, it's three away, isn't it? No. Is it two and a two? Two, bam, wa bam. Yeah, because that line there is the fence, not the path. 
So, bring in this imp to each household. I know it's a bad idea because they can dig tunnels. Uh, get all this installed. Bam. Bam. The electricity grid. Now, what one's this on? This is on this one, isn't it? And that's going to get, I assume, very, very overloaded shortly. So, we've got to think of a way in which we can take it off it. I might build another power station here. Drop in a couple of... Okay, I can't do that just yet, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle the utility of for the power grid of them there. Is that built? That's not built just yet, but I can put that on that line. I'm going to try and build another power grid system this way. All right, I'm going to cancel that, that, and we're going to switch it round. So, water, we'll get the water connected back up, obviously. But these won't be on any electricity grid whatsoever at the minute. So, we'll bring it to this one. So, if I ran in the middle. So, all this is currently dead right now. We're going to connect it to this. With me. It will make sense in just a moment. It will make sense. I gotta wait for this to be built right now. Can you hurry up and build this, guys? Make this a priority. Control and left click. I made that a priority. So all these houses will be thrown on back onto this one. And everything else will be put onto this one. So we're kind of separating this so we can build more stuff from this way using that power supply so we just gotta wait still which is not good because this is the middle of the day and half the prison is now dead so you can you guys hurry up I high prioritized it Like I'm I'm pressing I'm high prioritizing this. Could you hurry up? What is going on? What is going on right now? I've made it high priority numerous amounts of times. At least they're going to sleep now anyway. Oh, I've just spent all that money. I want to cry. Uh, Grants. <laughs> so lucky. Raise the 500. That's a long way to go, isn't it? Um, what could give us a nice little boost? Um, at the end of the day, there's no point me doing anything until that's built. So can you guys hurry up, please? I'm stressing out right now. Oh, finally! Someone's now coming to build it. Finally. It only took like a gazillion years later. Come on! <laughs> there you go, more money spent. <clears throat> in we go, in we go. built. But obviously I need capacitors because that is not going to uphold what I want to get done. So pause for a second while I've accepted that. Um, utilities, capacitors. Spend all the money there. So this can now be hooked back up to this grid, which it will be done. We'll now go around the perimeter of this building. To get everything all connected back up again. Uh, 
There we go, boys. Look at me go. Genius. So everything else then will be hooked up to this this new one once it's all in. We'll get everything planned out to where it's going to be connected as well. Oh, there's a riot. See, they've got no power and stuff, so this is what they're rioting over right now. So we just need them to hurry up. But I'm fighting sorting this out versus getting all these goods stored. It's taking too long. At least the guards do it for us, but it's not to the speed that I would want it. Come on, boys. You can get this done. Right, I've high priority all of this. It's now officially all high priority. I don't know if the boxes have been delivered at all yet, but it's all high priority. Um, right. So. Oh, still writing over here right now, I see. Right, let you do what you gotta do, princess. Uh, we need a road being connected to these. There we go. Oh, I just realised it's not even grass I placed down here. Should have been grass. Why can someone empty these trucks? God damn it. Please hurry up, guys. It's like they're bringing boxes back. What are they doing? Do you not understand how urgent this is right now, guys? It's very urgent. <laughs> it's very urgent. Right, rooms. Deliveries. I'm extending the delivery section a bit more. Just for now. So, at least the guards can get some of this stuff off, or the delivery drivers can get it off anyway. So we can go back to normal, guys, please. Let's go. Let's just, let's just go back to normal. It would be greatly appreciated if we could. There's <laughs> so many boxes I gotta get un unloaded right now. Hand dryers, shower heads, drains, more drains, bookshelves, riots, because we have no power! Please! And the gangs are kicking off. They got knives. I might set it up where they gotta go through a metal detector every common room they go into as well. That could be handy. That could be very handy. But let, let, I'm just letting the chaos ensue a little bit more until we've got these freaking capacitors built. Can I see the capacitors? Rome booths. Oh, <gasps> capacitors. There we go. It's on this truck here. Come on, boys. It's on the next truck behind. Here we go. Capacitors and more capacitors in here. All right. They are priority to be built. So they should be done next. See, it has a knock-on effect, no power. Uh, they can't cook food for the prisoners. So they're going to go hungry. Which is going to put them in, in even more of a bad mood. Alright, priority all of this as well. All the capacitors now being placed. Last one. And then officially get it all connected. So prioritize that as well. 
And here they come. Oh, I say here they come with the power lines, but no. Alright, there's one there. There's nine to be installed. Have these two. Oh, dear God. Guys, come on. Let's just get these power lines in. I prioritize these ones. Why are you not getting these ones done? Come on, boys. Come on. A little bit of power, please. A little bit of power. And... Ta-da! We have light! We're back in business. So, we can, they can now... The workers can now just focus on getting the rest of all this area now built up and done. But we're back in business, guys. Before we then have to focus on this area. But at least we have gangs, at least we can now control them, which is really, really important. Uh, oh, look at that! They tried to escape! They thought they were in freedom? I wonder if they did escape. I'm not, I'm not too sure if we, uh... If we caught that. Um... No escape. So the, they was not able to escape, so this is great success. That is great success. We are also now getting CCTV in, so I can now connect these up. Oh. There we go. CCTV, boys. Okay, that's got six of eight. How many has that got? Eight. Nice. These are all connected from over here. Okay, that's good. We'll go with that for now. So some CCTV in some of these rooms. So we can see a little bit more plotting on the go. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. I gotta get them in all the common rooms, but I'll save it for all these guys over here eventually. Um, right, so this is all done. This area is now all done. It's got power, it's got water. We're, we're, uh, we're business as usual. So that is now less power than that one because we're taking a lot of these uh, mansions now off. We're still working with these areas over here. Which is going to still take a little bit of time. But we're going to be getting there very shortly. But I think it's been a great success so far. We've had a few little ups and downs, but we're still trying to manage the situation. 220 prisoners. We can have as our max capacity. There's going to be more coming in. And when it comes to the gangs, 20 members, they got $43. Holy smokes. Damn. <laughs> That's a lot, isn't it? Um, not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, there's a gang fight. I went down there. No informants yet, but we'll, we'll kind of get all that stuff set up. We got a lot of stuff to kind of sort out with all of this. There's boiling point for their needs and overall temperature. Oh, I forgot about the temperature. Logistics. Um, do we have temperature? We don't have temperature in here, do we? No, this is just the temperature in terms of the danger levels, right? I think that's what it means. I think that's what it means, right, guys? I don't know. But we're going to end it for here anyway, guys. Hope you did enjoy this video. Smash the like button down below. Until next time, i see you all soon. So... Yeah.